What's up, pen pals? Tom with Gold Spot Pens here. A little something different for you on a Friday. My dad, who usually does the checking of the orders and the inspecting, is not at the office today. So I am in charge of opening and signing off on a bunch of orders, of your orders today. So we're going to open up and take a look at some really nice pens that you all have graciously ordered from goldspot.com in the last 24 hours. So this first pen, you might have recognized it from one of our recent emails or social media posts, is the Leonardo Officina Italiana. This is the Pink Sand Limited Edition. And this one, which is a fine point, just double checking to see if it's a fine point, it's got the stamp on the side there, uh, this fine point with rose gold is going to Maria A. in Canada. And this is a very, very nice looking piece. Hey, you notice I kind of just uh, screwed that barrel on and now the stripes don't match up. This is a little trick for you guys here. I just find that this cap threads in three different spots. So depending on where you start the threading, it will then change the alignment. So you just have to find the right spot where it threads and everything lines up all nice and pretty. So uh, this is an exquisite piece. Lots of blue in this one, lots of emerald. So we'll put this back here. This is all good. Comes with this little tassel. We'll put this back in its wrapping. Now we're just checking just to make sure that everything's okay. No major defects with the pen. Nibs, nib is what it says it is. Everything comes all as it should. And uh, unless specified, we don't normally check for things like flow or baby's bottom, or we don't wet test our pens, you know, unless it is specified that somebody is, is requesting that. So this is one of those little extra services just to make sure that you are getting what you're getting, especially with an order that's going internationally. We don't want to get into an issue where the pen arrives across the border and then is not correct or is you know missing a, uh, missing a part or is broken, anything like that. So so what I'll do is I use my I use another pen I have laying right here. This is my Lamy 2000, and I will circle the invoice, which you don't see on on the side here because I don't want to share the uh, the information here from the customer. I don't want to breach that privacy, so I am just putting my OK on this. I'll just bring that into view. What's the, what is the farthest that we've shipped a pen to? We ship pens all around the world. And probably the farthest that we've sent is, uh, I would say, like we've, so we've sent plenty to Australia, Japan, um, sent them Singapore, Lots of lots of different places. I'd say right right around the uh, other side of the world. I guess if you could whatever wherever the other side of the world is from New Jersey, we've probably sent it there. So we'll grab the next pen, which is another which is a pen that actually we showed you on the most satisfying pens. Which ink is in my two thousand? I presently have no idea. I forget. <laughs> uh, what is this ink that's in here? I forget. It's a nice, like, it's a nice turquoise ink. I can't remember what it was. I'm trying to think. Um, oh, you know what it is? It's Andorillium Inks uh, Blue Ringed Octopus. So that's what it is. But this is a pen that uh, we featured on yesterday's video, Most Satisfying Pens, it's Camera Laterna. I'm pretty sure that the reason why this is out on the desk here in front of me is because of that video. So I appreciate Gordon B. from Illinois for picking up this pen. So this is the Camera Laterna fountain pen. Comes with a nice little card. Explains it is made of 
resin and then 925 aged sterling silver. It's warranted for two years. It's got a jewelry polishing cloth because uh, sterling silver does tarnish. And you have using care guide and you got the pen. So Gordon had purchased the fine point. So let's just check if everything's good with this pen. Let's see. Yes, this is a fine point. You can see it's very bright trims. It's making the uh, it's making the filming here get a little overexposed. I apologize for the uh, the band aid in the in the frame here. I cut my finger and it just wouldn't look very pretty if I were to show you what you know what that what that looks like. So here you've got the little spinny reel thing. That's that's the little reel that's on top. It's so cool. I might not do any more checking. I just might play with this for the rest of the day. It's so neat. All right, so let's put this back. This is the fine point. Everything looks pretty spiffy on this pen. Mother of Pearl Gray resin. So very nice. Yeah, I'm working alone right now. I mean, on this particular project. Actually, uh, Asha has the other bin um, outside of the office here so that... Um, she can help tackle all of these, these checking that we have to do today. So we're putting this back. It's a nice little foam cocoon that's here. I'll put all these cards back. Close it up. Put the sleeve back on. So camera let turn a fountain pen. I'll just... Oh. Let's sign off on this here. Okay, so a little thank you there. All right, next one. And next one we have here is another Italian fountain pen from a brand called Scribo. The makers of Scribo were originally employees of Omas pens. Scribo, feel the writing. They are based in Bologna, Italy. And this is a Ladota. It's going to Paul B in Vermont. These papers are not the most fun to deal with because they are very delicate. I don't want to rip the paper, so there's a little trick behind it is that you kind of unfold this part here. You go peeking in, and you actually can grab the pen out of the pen case because this is what it, the, the, uh, the pen case is in here, as you can see. Could back it out. So there's a pen case that's in there, and it's got the two slots for the pens. So I could grab the pen from that slot. And this is the Lodota and the Piela. It's a really beautiful marbled blue acrylic pen. And this is a 14 karat extra fine. Feel the flex nib. So exactly what was ordered. Good job shipping. They pick all this stuff out, then they bring it to be checked. Just checking the, the piston mechanism. It's working well here. The Lodota is the is kind of like a sister pen to the feel. So instead of uh, the feel has facets on it, but the Lodota is completely smooth all the way around, which gives that um, material a little bit of a different look than you would see with the feel pens. So everything looks good here. Correct nib size, correct pen. I'll just slide this on back into its slot. All right, put that back in the 
box here. Also wearing compression gloves because my hands are cold. They're always cold, even on a day like today. Just always very cold, so keeps me warm. So let's get signature on this here. And on to the next one. All right, so next we have another Leonardo pen. This is a Momento Zero. It is in the Blue Positano 2021 with the silver trim. Actually, I could just leave this on here. Let's leave this on and just kind of pop it out through the side. Open this up, slide the box on through, open it up. So we have a Positano. Just checking if everything is good with this here. You have the engraving on the barrel here. I can't believe they've made almost 6,000 of these pens already. So this is supposed to be an extra fine nib, which it is, it has EF on the side of the nib. Everything looks cool. See, the neat thing with the Momento Zeros is that you could actually operate the converter from the blind cap area, or you could just do it as you would a normal every day cartridge converter and operate it from here. Either way, you could feel fancy by doing it with the blind cap method. So far, so good. No issues or problems yet, which is great because makes everything nice and smooth or at least appear nice and smooth for you folks for you folks on youtube so as a memento zero we'll sign off on this here and this one's also going to get a catalog because nathan from nashville's a new customer of ours so hello nathan Right. Not too many more to go, just like several more bins worth of pens. I say that in a joking manner. So next we have, oh, next we have some pilot pens. We got some pilot and we also have a sailor. Very cool. So we have some Japanese pens on the uh, on the inspecting here. Uh, so we have this is for Lars from San Diego. Lars from San Diego is getting a Pilot Falcon. Oh, in both the blue and the purple resin. Very nice, nice bold colors with this. Pilot Falcons are great flex nibs pretty inexpensive in terms of 14 karat gold nibs. So this is a soft extra fine in the blue, which is that's what was ordered. So that is good. Um, and we have the converters that are inside here. So we can take a look to see that. You have the Con40 converter. Not the biggest fan of the Con40. I think you guys know that. I've complained about it a few times on some YouTube videos. But 
but we say these things in hopes that Pilot may hear them and then improve upon them sometime in the future, maybe give us a better converter at some point. This is a really nice purple, very bold. Soft extra fine. Yeah, these Falcons are good as a, as a pen that could give you just a little bit of line variation while flexing. But if you really want a very, um, you know, if you want to embellish with a, a bigger flexing pen, I would suggest trying out the custom 912 in the FA, which they call a Falcon nib as well. Um, it, but it's a different Falcon nib that's what's on these guys. It's a different beast entirely. Now this one is a Sailor. This is not a flexible nib. Sailors are known to be pretty hard nibs. And this is our Gold Spot exclusive, which is the Blue Cobra. Now, Sailors usually have the wrapping on them, and this one does not have the opening for the wrapping, or does it? Does it have? Yes, it does. You know what? It does. So we can check the nib. Just want to check it. Take a look at it. Um, these Sailors are, or at least our exclusive here, is 40% off the retail price. It is an exclusive that's been around for a while, and we're trying to uh, move some inventory because there's still quite a few of them left on the shelf there from uh, a couple years ago. So this is an extra fine nib. Um, the, now Lars is going to find that the extra fine on this, actually looks like there's some ink on here. Interesting. Oh yeah, for sure there's some ink on here. Okay, I wonder why. There's no cartridge on here or anything, or no converter. Now, this is a good thing. So this is good. So, you know, Lars had purchased almost $700 worth of stuff here. So I, as a customer, would definitely want to see a clean pen when I receive it. And I don't know why. I mean, you saw me open it. This is a brand new from the factory. I don't know why that this pen would have ink on it. I'm guessing it's because they need to test it. But I would want Lars to get a cleaned uh, fountain pen nib, one that does not have any inky residue on it, uh, especially considering the cost. So we're going to put this off to the side. I will wash this out, clean it out, make sure it is going to be suitable uh, to include on this order. So I'm not signing off on this. I'm just going to put this to the side at the moment. Get to the next item. So next, we have a Levant. And we have a Leonardo. So this is for Joanne from Minnesota. And Joanne's actually a fan of, I think might be a fan of the Pentertainment podcast because it was trying to use a coupon code, but didn't realize that the coupon codes are now changing monthly. Um, it's kind of a due to management sort of thing that they wanted to have us change it because customers were, well, not customers, but people were, um, were finding these coupon codes on websites and then using them at will, even though they weren't fans of the podcast or didn't come from the podcast. So that's the, that's the reason behind it. It's not, you know, done to confuse people. We really wish we could just keep it the same, but when it shows up on a place like Coupon Cabin or like Retail Me Not and they're getting, these websites are getting traffic from throwing other people's coupon codes on the website, uh, that's when, we, you know, the line has to be drawn there. So this is a Momento Zero in the Giada Jade, and this is a fine point with gold, um, and that is exactly what was ordered here. It's a very elegant looking marbled acrylic has a very vintage -y sort of vibe with that marbled uh, and the colors are a little bit on the muted side so it does look very um you know very antiquish looking but without of course it's a brand new pen so it can't be antiqued so back you go leonardo pop that back in there And then the next one we have is a Laban 325, which is probably the 
best, I would say it's probably the best selling Le Bon pen that we have. The Le Bon 325 is a collection that is available in a bunch of different colors, but the theme is they put a ivory resin cap and end cap and a grip section that's ivory resin, and then they pair it with a beautiful, vibrant acrylic on the barrel. So this is a 325 flame, and this is in Broadpoint. These are the older style Yovo nibs with the little floral accents on there. They include a converter, Le Bon converter. A very elegant looking pen, and you know, despite the fact that it kind of looks like a pen that should cost a lot more than it does, it's only $127.95 for this pen. So really quite affordable, I would say, relatively speaking. Because I mean, you look at the Leonardo, it's $160. It's just as, it's, it's just as a beautifully aesthetic pen made of resin with the Yovo nib. And it's a pretty good value, I think, in my opinion anyway. But then again, I have my opinion's been warped by years of being in the pen industry. So <laughs> I could have, I got very, I got very different uh, ideas of what expensive could be now. So we'll sign off on this. This is good to go. And this will be our last one for this session because I do have to pick up the pace a little bit. We're at uh, 20 minutes. So I will sign off on this. You checked. Bye, Tom. All right. All right, so thank you guys for joining us for this little impromptu session of checking pens that are shipping today. And uh, if you'd like to uh, sign up or, or actually, you know, what would be better is if you want to jump on this live next time is to hit the notification bell when you subscribe to the Gold Spot Pens YouTube channel. And then that way you'll be notified when this stuff just kind of happens. So appreciate you guys. Thank you and stay inky, my friends. Take care.